Okay, I'm um, here at Gulpa um, Dentistry, all on four. And um, honestly, I'm here, it's my last um, hope. <laughs> I uh, had dental problems for 30 years. I don't want to cry, wait a minute. <laughs> Gotta edit that. <laughs> um, wait a minute, turn it off, I can't. <laughs> My husband um, went online and found um, Dr. Gulpa and um, I came here honestly with, okay, I'll come and try it one last time because I went through 30 years of going back and forth. Each time I went, um, I was promised the world and um, was in more shape. Went to Mexico last and had um, extensive work done and um, that was uh, failed completely. Did that be black, blue, purple? green. Um, I could not keep my teeth in. I had no uppers, um, seven lowers, implants that they couldn't finish. So anyway, I came here. I told my husband, if this don't work, dig the hole. I'm done. I give up. And um, I showed up yesterday and here I am today and I have beautiful teeth. And um, sorry I'm emotional, but it's been a long time. And they're, they're great. And um, uh, if you have any uh, worries about it, I had, it was an easy procedure. I didn't remember a thing. I was no pain whatsoever. And um, I am so glad I came. I'm grateful. Thank you. Hello, it's, my name is Louis Smith. I'm from California. We do a lot of uh, volunteer work at a place called Hume Lake Christian Camps. I teach nutrition around the world and my teeth are looking terrible. I had to come in and get a whole new facelift because speaking to thousands of people across the world annually, you need to look sharp. And so, man, I feel great about what they've done for me. Thank you so much, Dr. Gell. You know, when I, my teeth started giving me real hassles about two years ago, I started searching around for a place where I could get my dental work done. I needed major work, the whole top and the whole bottom. I went down to Mexico. Unfortunately, I spent a lot of money down there. I didn't get the results I wanted. I had to find a dentist all the way here in Vegas. And I came through and he's replaced all the teeth, pulled everything out, hardly any pain, and I'm very satisfied. The teeth look great and I'm excited about them. Thank you. Dr. Gober, thank you so much. You know, I found out about you about four days ago. I uh, phoned, made an appointment, came through extracted about 16 teeth, put a whole top plate and bottom plate in and I feel brand new, so excited. So I've got teeth all the way around. So I came in yesterday, I'm out today, did a tremendous job, hardly any pain. Thank you so much. I highly recommend it to anybody who wants to come. Right. Hello everyone, thank you for stopping in and checking out this video. Um, I'd like to share a little bit of an experience that I've had during um, some unfortunate situations in life with, with my dental situation. Um, started, you know, to make a long story short, I had a bridge from a car accident when I was 16. I had to put a bridge in. Uh, it was the only thing they could do at the point in time. And after 20 years or so, I'm 40 years old now, the bridge has failed. And it was either a partial or a or these implant procedures. So I decided to have the implant procedure done um, at, at the expense and paid for it in full and made multiple, multiple visits to a place that I was supposed to have an oral surgeon and a prophodontist all in one place, not even having to go to two doctors. And, um, decided to go ahead and go for the procedure and paid for it in full and was just, I was losing sleep. I was so excited. I just could not wait to have this done. It was a dream come true after all the years of worry of what I was going to do after the situation and, you know, financially saving the money and, you know, getting ready to have this and just being so excited about it. I was just losing sleep for weeks and weeks and weeks. 
and finally go ahead and get it done. And um, the surgery was about four months and two weeks ago. And after it took me six appointments to get to the surgery, day. it might even be seven. Um, and you know, I was told when I wake up from the surgery, I'm going to have this temporary. I'm going to be so happy. It's going to be the best day of my life. And, you know, I'll wear this temporary for three months or so, and then they'll make me my finals. And the finals, the temporary will have some kind of metal bar on it, but the finals will have a full titanium bar with attached to the implants. And I decided to um, go with the total of 12 implants. They were telling me that it was going to make it stronger and better. And if one were to fail, I could take, one of them could be taken out, and I could still keep the work that I had done on. So, wake up surgery day, um, go drive up to the surgery, and um, actually I had somebody drive it naturally, and when I woke up from the surgery, um, they kind of came in with these temporaries, and the doctor said, he had this temporary in his hand like this, and don't they look great, don't they look great, and the next thing I was like, and they did, you know, from the situ from where I was sitting and the way he held them, yeah, they looked good, they looked like, you know, nice white teeth. And they had already had the needle in my arm. Next thing I know, I'm waking up, um, and I was just devastated. I couldn't talk. I had this huge chunk of plastic in my mouth, and I just was just absolutely devastated. And I was trying to tell them that there was something wrong or something wrong, and they they kept saying, "Oh, you need to not. What you need to do right now is not talk. You can't. You don't want to talk right now. You don't want to talk right now." So. They kind of pushed me out the door that everything was fine and got in the car and my fiance drove me home and I was trying to tell her that, you know, there was something wrong and she was saying, you know, no, you're not supposed to talk, just sit back and write it, you know, write it down, write it down. So I started and I, that's when I started all the notes and I was writing everything down on what happened and uh, my bite was completely off. Um, I was only, I wasn't missing all my teeth on the bottom, so I was only going to do the top, but they told me I needed to do the bottom too so that they would line up perfectly. And when I bit down, um, after the surgery, my temporaries, I would close my mouth and my teeth would just hit on the back four corners like that. And just at those four corners. But me, meanwhile, I had to have these, all this done at one time so it would line up. Well. After just a day of just misery, it was turned out supposed what was supposed to be the best day of my life turned out to be one of the worst days of my entire life. And uh, the doctor called me the following day, and he asked me if how everything was, and I explained to him again that I was trying to tell him there's something wrong. So they said come back in Monday. The surgery was on a Friday. They said come back in Monday. They said they were going to make me a new temporary. That they saw what the problem was, they were going to make me a new temporary. They said it's going to take two to three weeks. So I had to take two to three weeks off of work because this piece was so bad. I was so embarrassed, I was humiliated. It was sticking out of my mouth about five eighths of an inch. I couldn't even close my mouth. Um, and uh, I ended up having to take three weeks off of work because they told me I was going to wake up and everything was going to be fine and nobody would even notice that this was done. And I would go back to work on Monday, but instead I went back to them on Monday. Three weeks later, they after after being out of work for three weeks, I'm trying to hide from everybody, not leaving my house, not going to the store, not doing anything, because uh, I couldn't even talk with this huge bulk of plastic. It was like taking four Jolly Ranchers and 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 gluing them to the roof of your mouth. Um, I'm trying to make this video as as to the point as possible, but please, you know. I, Take the time to listen to this because it is it is it is important of, of what's happened here, and I would hate to see somebody else go through what I've been through with this. And um, so on the second second implant second set of temporaries, it was pretty much just just as bad. This is the huge overbite on these temporaries. And, I'm going to lie if you can see it. This is the second attempt they made to fix the temporaries. The temporaries were only supposed to be three weeks, uh, three, three months. 
I was supposed to have my finals. It's now four and a half months, and they keep telling me, oh, you know, it's going to take this time, and they got to send the wax drawings off, and, you know, it's going to take X amount of months until I get it back, and, you know, they keep trying to delay the situation. As I find out why they're trying to delay the situation, it seems like they did want me to go have somebody else because they messed up really bad. They offered me some money back for the prophodonic part, um, where this still this temporary piece is, is also broken, um, which is you know quite uncomfortable, quite sharp. Uh, I had to go up there and get it fixed. Um, like I said, about 20 visits so far back and forth to this doctor on an average of four to six hours out of my day per visit. Um, I've had to go and they had it fixed and they put it back in and later that day it broke again. And the funny thing is, is it broke in my sleep. So, so I, woke, you know, I, I grind my teeth a little bit because as I find out now that the reason why it's so far forward is because the implants were put in wrong. If you could imagine what I have found out and what I have to do. The implants were put in wrong. They're at the wrong angle, and there's no way to move this back. They did not do enough bone reduction, and this is the second time that I've been told this. I did go check with one other all surgeon, and that's what that was his suggestion. He was curious to see how they were going to even make the final being that they did not do the bone reduction, which makes my smile a good. So besides my overbite. I didn't have enough bone reduction. So it's got the bone needs to be reduced, and the implants need to be moved back and angled, and everything needs to be put back into the, into the right place. Um, so all 12 implants need to come out. And I have to have a total of eight implants put in correctly at the correct angle and have the procedure done correctly now. After all this time and aggravation, you know, I thought, Hey, you know what, this place is, there is this place in Vegas and there's a place that is doing something that they claim to do something similar, um, that sounded similar from the beginning, um, an hour away from me versus I live 3,000 miles from here. And um, so I came in here to see if today if they can make the final for me and just, you know, keep my implants and, and make a file for me and have this nightmare be over with. Some, something that, you, you know, you, you work hard and you find it, you've done right, your credit's good, and you've got your stuff right, and you get your life together where you want to you invest this money, you know, take it from, you know, not spend it on your family or a car or whatever you want to spend this money on. And you want to have this procedure done and this happens, you know, and now, 20 visits at the doctor all this time trying to save time to go and buy somebody close versus you know taking a week one week off and going so now i'm here i was here just to have this final made i got here yesterday and i was planning on flying out friday night and the only way to fix it is to take out all the implants and 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 do the implants properly and do the finals properly and thankfully they are, he is busy and he really doesn't have the time to do it, but I'm here and he has compassion for my situation. These people here are great and they want to fix the situation and I do have to take a little more time off of work, but being that I am so far away, I'm here. I'm going to stay a couple extra days and instead of going home Friday, I'm going to go home next Wednesday and um, I'm going to have my finals done. And this night, and I, this nightmare is going to be over with. And not needless to say, after all this and everything that I'm going through, not you know, this is surgery. This is a big deal. So everything that you go through, to have to have paid for it twice. Thank God I can. Thank God I can, because I don't know what I would do. But I have to pay for it again. What money I'm going to recuperate is going to be another scenario. But. The time and money and discomfort and the embarrassment and humiliation that I've been through because this procedure wasn't done right. So 
your whole feeling of confidence in, in who you're, of where you are, your surroundings, and they took me back to the lab before they even told me about any of this stuff needed to be changed, and I was just, I knew right away, like, the, the couple of buildings they have here, you're just, it, you were in the right place, you were at the, the, the root of it all. Like from all my experiences of all the different dentists and doctors and sur oral surgeons that I've talked to, they take what they do here and the labs and they break it out into four or five different places. And you're just spending time and money and traveling and doing going back and forth and you know who wants to claim responsibility if to, if something goes wrong, you know. Here they have everything from all the different places I've been. They have everything here. This is a this is a hundred percent true story. You see this horrible, horrible surgery that I had done that I paid more money than I'm paying Dr. Goldberg to do. Um, and I'm not getting paid to sit here and do this video. I'm just so thankful that they're going to fix me. And I have to pay them to do this procedure. And I'm just so grateful that I'm doing this and that it's going to get done finally after four and a half months of agony. Um, but, you know, I'm doing this because I really, truly, in my heart, would hate to see anybody else have to go through this. All right, so here's our follow-up. Um, the surgery, they were able to really help me out because I traveled far to get here, and they did the surgery yesterday, um, removing all 12 implants that I had placed uh, four and a half months ago. They reinstalled the proper amount of implants, and um, that was yesterday. My appointment was at 2, two o'clock yesterday afternoon. Um, these, they work so hard and stay as late as they need to to take care of everybody. Dr. Golf is still here. Everybody's still here. The whole staff is here just making sure that everybody is taken care of. And they put my final set in today. Um, like I said, the surgery was yesterday afternoon and my final is in today. It is so comfortable. I am so happy. It was the dream that I had before I started this whole procedure um, by going to the wrong person. Um, there's multiple, multiple, multiple sites out there that have um, very, 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 very similar advertising that they're doing the same thing that they're doing here. And 99.9% um, .9 out of 100, obviously, this is the 0.1% that is the real deal. Um, they've done a phenomenal job. Um, I feel like I can talk normal. I've had these teeth in my mouth for 45 minutes maybe and haven't done much talking with them. Um, I feel they feel natural. They feel strong. They look just amazing. Um, it's a full mouth of teeth from front to back. It's molars and everything and they just it's just amazing. It's a dream come true. It's, I wish I had come here beforehand. Um, this is with taking 12 implants out that somebody else put in for the same procedure. And um, this is what the other ones look like. When I first had this procedure done at the other place it was done at, I couldn't go to work for three weeks because I was embarrassed. I have children. I couldn't go to the store to get milk for my kids. I had to send my fiance because I didn't want to see anybody that I knew because I had this huge puck in my mouth that I could just slur my words. I couldn't even talk. Um, so it was just humiliating, embarrassment, just, you know, and I paid more money than what I got charged here. And it's just a shame. And I would just. You know, in, in, in my situation, I was here for a longer period of time because I thought I was only coming here to have a final made, um, that they were procrastinating on making the final. But as I came here, the reason why they were procrastinating on the final was because the implants were done wrong. 
And by the grace of God, these guys pulled their whole team together here and, 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 and did everything they could to make sure that, you know, found time in the schedule and staying here late um, so that I didn't have to go home and come back in a month and travel so far to live over 2,000 miles away in the flight and taking off of work again and everything. Um, you know, they wanted to make it happen for me, so they, they fit me in the schedule. But I think on an average person would be here for a lot less time than I have. I mean, really two days. You know, yesterday and today, I can go home tomorrow. You know, I can fly out tonight if I had it set up for tonight. So, yeah, I was here for a week, but this is a much different circumstance than, than most people. You know, usually uh, you don't have the implants already done and then come here. It does happen from my understanding, but... Um, this is where you need to start, you know, or even if you want to go to another consultation before you come here, um, just to, to see really the difference, but guaranteed from everybody, from every nurse and the lab and everybody here that is just Carlos that helps you with all the, the computer stuff and everything. I mean, it's just everybody. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Dr. Gulp is so down to earth. He's such a nice guy. Genuine guy. Wants to see you happy. He's here to do what a doctor was set out to do and to take care of their patients and to make their patients happy and feel better. And that's a, an honest opinion of, of, of who he is. His general character is a wonderful person. And um, it's worth the trip. I can't say it over and over and over again. If you have needs to have this procedure done, um, this procedure is this was the better price, believe it or not, on top of everything else. And it, I guess it's just because of the the technology and the ability that they have that they can do it for less. It's the shortest amount of time, and it is the best outcome. So you know, take a couple of days. Get it all done and over with instead of, you know, somebody will tell you, oh, it's only nine visits, but nine visits is 19 visits. Um, you know, and especially if they get it wrong, if there is a mistake, they don't have a way to fix it. They do here. I haven't seen any mistakes, but if they did have a mistake, they definitely have a way to fix it. So, um, you know, I'm, thank you for watching this video and I really, really hope that uh, you have the best of luck in your venture, making a decision on what you're doing. But coming from a long road and, you know, going from other doctors um, before I came to him saying that the other procedure wasn't done correctly also, um, that you do this, that you come here and you do this. And you'll just, you'll love everybody here. Yeah. You know, I want to go home. I miss my kids and my fiance and my family so much, but it's like I feel like I'm at home. And to be in an establishment like this in a surgery center, to feel like you're at home is priceless. So, um, best of luck. And um, my name is Mike. And if there's any other questions that uh, you would like to ask, I would, you know, from me, you know, I'd feel free if you. You call here and say Mike from the video, you know, I'd like to talk to him. Um, I'd be willing to talk to you and, and, you know, help you make the right decision. Not make the decision I made, but uh, hopefully you picked up, you know, where I'm coming from and what I'm laying down and what, you know, what's going to do the best for me. And um, I can't wait to come back to see him again. <laughs> And uh, good luck to y'all out there. And um, I hope you make the right decision, like I finally did. All right.